here on ESPN. It's to Lenny Harris. Lenny Harris damages that baseball. Get out of town. A tie it at one in the second inning. Top of the third, same score. The pitcher Armando Reynoso on second. Edgardo Alfonso batting. And Fonzie's been hot his 15th of the year. 3-1 Mets. And as it turns out, Ashby wasn't enjoying himself. Top of the fourth, same score from Mike Piazza. Get out of town the other way. 28th of the year, 4-1 Mets. Ashby's problems continue. He was pulled after five, giving up four hits, three of them home runs. Bottom nine, 4-1. John Franco looking for career save, 390 with a man on, gets Jim Leritz. And then George Arias grounding out to third. Franco ties Dennis Eckersley for second all time with 390 saves. The Mets win behind Armando Reynoso. One first, McGuire thinking about his 11 career grand slams. Pitcher Kent Merker, I'm feeling you. His first career home run and 212 career at bats. The second pitcher to hit a grand slam this year. The sixth pitcher to hit a slam this decade. Cards up seven zip. Top seven, Mack up against Brian Edmondson. Edmondson throws way inside to McGuire, possibly a brushback pitch. Hey, Brian, have you seen McGuire's arms? Ray Langford at third, and then I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Three pitches later, two run shot, 497 feet, the third longest home run ever at Pro Player. Home run number 58 for McGuire, his third in two nights. Check out the flash bulbs as the ball goes halfway up the upper deck. Mack celebrates with a few punches. His trademark routine with Brian Jordan. He said later the pitch was probably three inches off the ground. I'm amazed I went down and got it. The fan who caught 58 had to be safely escorted out. McGuire with 125 RBI this year. Top eight. Cards up 12-3. Mack up one inning later. Can we go 59? Here's the pitch and there it goes. Do you believe this? Once again, Mark McGuire hits a home run here in South Florida. McGuire has 59. He pulls it within two of Roger Maris. And the legend grows for the St. Louis Cardinals. A 458-foot blast. He sets a personal high in a season for home runs with 59. 59 is also more homers than any right-handed hitter has ever jacked. Four homers in two days, four curtain calls in two days. Keep up with McGuire. Top three runners at the corners. Barry Larkin, a 300 hitter, grounds into the 6-4 three-double play. Cubs get out of trouble. Bottom six, Archbishop of Chicago, Francis Cardinal George in the booth. So set the plate, divine intervention. Well, I, w I want you to do one thing, Cardinal. I want you to bless this team because we need it. Sosa <laughs> <laughs> hits a drive oh, to right oh, field. Oh. Back goes Tedogini to the wall. Goal! Soon as the Cardinal walks in here, Sammy hits his 56 home run. Sosa on and cracking. It's hindsight now, but he said later before McGuire's hey, night, Mark has the ability to come back tonight and hit two more. Steve Traxel was just blowing up. He got Jeffrey Hammonds, a 338 hitter. He got Brett Boone. He had five Ks. Bottom seven, the fans call for number 57, but Sosa swung in a 3-0 pitch. Flies out deep to left, but not enough. Still, he blew up. Sammy, two for four, hitting 312, 137 RBI this year. Top eight, Dimitri Young. Hums one to the gap in right center off Felix Heredia. Ed Taubensey and Barry Larkin score 44th double of the year for Young, two on Reds. Bottom eight, Gary Gaetti rocking the fat wood. With the Cubs down 2-1, his 14th homer of the season, a two-run shot. He said afterwards, it's incredible to be able to do what Sammy and McGuire are doing. Cubs win. 4-2. You know, there's a picture of Hack Wilson accompanied by his final to start. Two-hour and 14-minute rain delay. One zip. Gil Heredia facing Chuck Knobloch. Scott Spezio, nice diving play at second. But Spezio would lead the game with a strained left quad. Top five, A.J. Hinch. He broke his bat when uh, David Wells struck him out. On Tuesday, better behavior here. Ryan Christensen went down. Jason Jombe looked at strike three. Cone struck out the side, and he struck out 10 in the game. Top eight, Ryan Christensen. Yes, indeed. Deep to left, his fifth home run of the year that made it two zip A's. Bottom nine, Yanks down two. Bernie Williams on second. Tino, the Bambino at bat. Martinez smokes it deep to center field. But the catch made at the warning track. A's win the game. One night after getting shut out, the A's shut the Yankees out. It's a rough night for Darren Erstad. In the first inning, he laced the Bartolo Colon pitch to left, scoring two runs, but he comes up limping. Strained hammy. He already missed 15 games in August with a strained hammy. Skipper Terry Collins says it seems worse than last time, but I'm no doctor. 
Erstadt will be evaluated Friday in Anaheim. Top two, Jim Edmonds. Get at me, dog. With two on, three runs shot. His 21st of the year. Edmonds three for six to raise his average to 304. Angels go up 5-1 and go on to win it 13-5. Pray or discuss strategies. Top six, <laughs> sweetest thing I ever know. Pudge Rodriguez rocking one home. 16th jack of the year, two-run shot for Pudge. Doesn't hit many homers, but he's had four in his last six games. Still six, Tigers get some defense. Royce Clayton grounds to Gabe Alvarez, who makes a stop and throws from his knees in time. Nice dig by Frank Catalanato at first. Bottom nine, Tigers with men on first and third, down 5-2. John Wetland tells Juan Encarnacion, sit. Wetland's 250th career save. Mariners, Shane Monahan, the bunt. Steve Avery gets to it quickly, and the flip to first keeps it scoreless. In the fourth, top of the sixth, M's up 1-0. Avery's still pitching. Jay Buhner, not the coat bottle this time, but still a home run. 437 feet is 15th, and the M's up 2-zip. Bottom ninth, score tied at three. Sox have second and third. Bobby Ayala intentionally walks Mo Vaughn, not Bobby, but it's Lou Pinello's choice, with no more Garcia Para up the very next pitch. I'd say that was a mistake. Get out of town four times, and he means it. A grand slam. First career granny for Garcia Para and his 30th home run of the year, and the rest seen here on ESPN. And Evander Holyfield takes his shot at pitching throughout the first pitch. We flash back August 23rd. Maddox gave up three home runs to the Dodgers. Would he run into similar problems against Houston? Top of the second. Stroh's already down 1-0. Maddox facing Jeff Bagwell. Start us in trouble right there. Solo job. Bagwell's 29th. Would tie the game at one all. Still in the second. Maddox maybe sending a message to the big unit. How about that? Johnson now knows what it feels like to be on the other end. The Astros would send a message with their bats. Top of the fifth, runner on for Craig Biggio. And Biggio gets out of town. A two-run shot is 19. Strohs with a 3-1 lead. Randy Johnson was throwing gas. Bottom of the sixth, Javi Lopez, Andrew Jones. And then gets Greg Colburn to chase the ball in the dirt. Johnson retired 11 straight Braves at one point. More problems up for Maddox. The top of the seventh, Sean Barry gets out of town. This was supposed to be a scoreless no hitter type game instead it's 4-1 Maddox giving up three home runs in a game for the second time in his career second time in two weeks meanwhile Johnson's dominating gets hobby there 10 strikeouts on the night for the unit 99th time he's done that for the first base is loaded for Jeff Kent in the month of August facing Javier Vasquez not McGuire, not and Kent as you know has been Kent super hot himself doubles to left center as he continues that Marvin Bernard and Bill Miller score one of two RBI doubles in the game for Kent Two zip, Gents, bottom of the second, 4 2 Giants. Barry Bonds, facing Vasquez with first and second. Bonds singles to left center. Ray Sanchez scores. RBI 102 on the season for Barry, 5 2 Giants. First and second for Bonds. He can take his time on this one. Get out of town off Shane Bennett. Upper deck shot, his 32nd home run of the season. And I believe Bonds knew it when he hit it. He's 5 for 5 with four walks. Fourth inning until Matt and Luke has the force with him. Drives a Tyler Green pitch deep into the night. Solo homer, Luke's 10th jack of the year, one zip Dodgers. Phillies kept it close for a while with Scott Rowland's defensive help. Juan Castro to third, the reigning National League Rookie of the Year all over. Top seven, three zip Dodgers. Carlos Perez chilling like a villain. Schools Bobby Estelea, next batter, Desi Relaford at his bat on his hip. Carlos, work it out. Perez, a two-hitter, goes the distance in a 6 nothing shutout. He gets his seventh shutout in 85 career starts. As he He's going to Jose Canseco, a wiffle ball. It curves. Sixth inning now, one nothing Red Sox. The base is loaded for the Blue Jays. Will happen presently. Now you do see that the bases are loaded now on second. First, all bases loaded. Jose Cruz Jr. chopping Brock Eli. 11 Ks for Pedro. And then the next up, Tony Fernandez. He gets it to go up the middle. Shannon Stewart, Sean Green, they're both coming to score. The Blue Jays up 2-1 here. Eighth inning, 3-2 Jays. The ex-Blue Jay, Mike Stanley, rips that thing. Nomar garcia Perra, the game-winning grand slam against the Mariners last night, coming to score here and tying the game at three apiece. Bottom of nine, 3-3 game. Dennis Eckersley's pitching. Alex Gonzalez taking it to left. Troy O'Leary's back after it. 
and making a play at the wall. Ooh. Yanks that down, Eck likes the help. Larry. The Blue Jays thought they might have had the win. 11th inning, still 3-3. Darren Frags on first. Two two on Mike Benjamin. Benjamin's the batter. The he takes that this pitch, but the ball center. gonna hop this over the wall. The ground rule it's double, ground it's the rules. Double. Frag, though, does not score. Sox get a nothing in the break. 11th. Bottom 11, two, 3 three, two runners on. Darryl Veras to Shannon Stewart, the single, and the game winner, Tony Fernandez, come to score. The Blue Jays win an 11. A count of four to three. Stewart had four hits in the baseball game. Boston's now lost five of the last eight. Inning, two nothing Indians. Manny Ramirez. Two out, runners at the corners. Ramirez going opposite way. Juan Encarnacion. He's tall. Yanks that down, robs Ramirez with a three-run donk. Bottom of three, same score. Broken back. Camara Barti to the to hole. Good. Richie and Sexton with the there. fancy play. Dwight Gooden covering nicely, but didn't get the foot on the bag. And Gabe Alvarez scores on the play. Tigers down 2-1. Bobby Higginson going to first. Sexton knocks it down again. Instead of going to first, he's coming home. And Paul Bacco's meat didn't slide. Indians escaped the inning with a one-run lead. Seventh inning now. Still 2-1 game. Gooden in a bit of a jam. Two on, two out. Barty, he's leaving. That's more beer for us. And Gooden goes seven innings pitch, five hits, one earned run. Tying run at first. Ninth Catalano inning, the pinch the hitter, Sexton, Frank Catalanato. Lines the first, Sexton making another play, and the Indians win it by a count of two to one. The Indians have won four the last four. Todd Helton Guys, facing Brad three Woodall, three one out. Little chopper, Lines Dave Nielsen Wilson steps on first, throws to second, but it hits Walker in the, in the Walker. Walker takes third on the play. The inning continues thanks to Walker's Walker. Next batter, Mike Lansing, gritty, gutty, base hit. Walker comes around. 2-0 Rockies. Bottom four now, tied at two. Jeff Cirillo's at third. It's a beautiful day. Marquise Grissom. A little chilly. We may decide to have it open. Jeff Jenkins. Now that we've introduced our contestants, let's play. The unconventional 3-2-5 double play. Cirillo gets caught scurrying back. Bottom five, tied at two. Brad Woodall at the plate facing John Thompson. Brad Woodall has just left the building. First career homer, and I'm proud to do the honors. Brewers go ahead 3-2. Three batters later, Dave Nielsen, a man aboard. Already one homer in the game. Gone. Two-run bomb, ninth of the season. That makes it 5-2, Brew Crew. Top six, Vinny Castilla. 39th. 5-3 now. That's not enough. Not nearly enough. Phil Garner not pleased, but... Not pleased with that pitch, but pleased with the outcome. 7-3 the final on this one. Nielsen two for four with two two-run homers. Matt Williams against Francisco Cordova, top three. This was a day game in case you're wondering. one nothing Diamondbacks, Tony Batista comes in to score. Andy Fox in the fifth. It's deep, but it's playable. Adrian Brown. Bottom nine, Brian Anderson pitching a one nothing lead. One on two outs, Jason Kendall to short. Jay Bell to second. Diamondbacks win one nothing on the strength of a three-hitter, so Arizona completes the three-game sweep with